Have a listen. Feel the frogs? It's fantastic. And at night time, it's even louder. You can't hear yourself speak at night time, basically. But we're here at the uh, citrus, little citrus forest that we've got here, or grove, if you want to call it that, with all the catnip underneath it. Look how it's all taken off. Now, this was cut back down to the ground. I used the uh, hedge trimmer. Yeah, we cut it right down, got rid of it completely, literally flat to the ground, did a bit of weeding. Now, the irises are popping up. We had a beautiful burst of rain the other day, and the citrus trees have really absorbed all the, co the compost and manure and black grit that we've put in. That one there got all the black grit. These ones here didn't get as much, and you can see the difference in the flowering. That's got a lot more flowers, but this is perfect, literally perfect now for our bees uh, when they start coming out for the uh, for the flowers and the pollen. So in another couple of weeks, I reckon in about a month maximum, this is going to burst into flower and it's going to flower all the way through to late uh, summertime, early autumn time. And another thing, folks, uh, we had a few messages coming through, just a bit of clarification on the garlic, in particular the pruning of the garlic. And I've mentioned in the past that in early stages, when you plant your garlic, first plant them, they come up a little bit. A light trim of the foliage is always good, just to thicken them up a little bit and get, to get them to bush out a bit more, get more foliage out of it and more sunlight rays back into the bulb. It's something that I've been practicing for many years and always had good success with the actual bulb itself, but it's also in the preparation of the soil. This soil here is a little bit hard, as you saw the other day. It's a little bit hydrophobic, but it's still a little bit on the sandier side rather than clay. So your soil can't be too acidic, can't be too boggy, and it's got to have good drainage, obviously. Now, as far as pruning them back, and when Mama did the other day, now, a few of you have mentioned why does she prune them back? Well, she was basically cleaning them up, even though she knows this is all the foliage there, basically. Have a look at that. And this is all the new growth that's come on it as well. This is what I mean by discoloration. See these ones here? Haven't been pruned. Look at that. That's die back. It's all dying back here. Now, you can sit back and say, no, I'm not going to cut that off. That leaf is absolutely useless, folks. It's going to do, serves no purpose other than that die back. Now, it could be viral, could be insect, could be rust, uh, things like that. So you need to clean all these off. Take them off, you cut it back. Now, easy way to do it is go over the top and tear them off. If you don't like doing that, then don't be growing garlic at all. Now look, I'm no expert at growing garlic, but I'm an expert at saying this isn't a healthy leaf, comparing that to a green leaf. So what are you going to do? You leave that on there, have a look in case it's viral. It's weathered born, it's weather damaged basically, and that can turn into spores, and that's what I'm talking about here, rust. You can start getting rust on your plants. Now, you can reach for a chemical, herbicide, fungicide, insecticide, whatever tickles your fancy. You know what tickles mine? A good prune. It's like a haircut. If only I had the hair to show you how you can prune it and it grows back. <laughs> it's genetics also, folks. So there we are. A little prune like that, no harm at all. You can take the tops off as well. This soil's really good. Look at that. Really soft, loose, so we're going to get a good sized bulb on these ones here. Let's check the other one out. Look around here. It's already starting to form the head. Now, we've got a couple of months ahead of us, so this is going to form. But what I need to do is scratch the surface here. And I did say it's a little bit sandy. In actual fact, it is sandy, but it's gone hard. It's crusted over. So I've got to scarify this over the surface using the tool, not my fingers, using a little cultivator. Just break up the crust so I can get more airflow down below and help the bulbs form bigger and better. Now, you can see the new growth has already come on, so we really haven't caused any damage. If you, if you decide to cut them back at a late stage, um, later than this, obviously, it's going to be for harvesting the green foliage if you want or because you're cleaning them up, because these were discolouring. They were going yellow on the tips, more so than I like. And mum came along and had a look at it, so she gave him a quick prune as well. Hasn't hurt the plant one bit. It will help a little bit in the bulb. I'm not going to say it's going to make uh, do miracles for you, but at the same time, it's certainly not causing it to go back down. If you're looking to harvest seed and you want this to sprout up like the onions are on the other side there, pushing up the flower head, and you cut it at that stage there, you're going to be sacrificing that seed. So never, never cut it so late in the season. Early on, way earlier than this, this is way too far advanced now. For a light trim, there's no harm in that. Cleaning off the discoloured leaves or the tips, that's okay. It's already, it's only been, what, a week? If we're lucky, it's already pushed up again. So no harm to the garlic. Next time you plant early in the season, prune, but not so late. And if you're pruning to harvest the foliage to enjoy, 
knock yourself out. Otherwise, let it do its business and always check your soil. Hasn't gone hard. If it crusts over, no matter what you're planting, it's always going to struggle. You can prune it as much as you like. You're going to reduce the amount of sunlight it gets, so it reduces all those sugars that it needs to be able to develop and feed the microbes, which in turn feeds the plant. So you need lots of foliage, but you do it earlier on, not so much in the later season. Other than that, check out our website, VasilisGarden.com. It's a weekend again, folks, so we always have running a major special on there. We've got up to 70% off up to on, on everything, I think, almost everything online, uh, heavily discounted. Plus, uh, for this weekend only, you get a 25% off the discounted price by using the coupon code word SPRING uh, at the checkout page, and you're also going to get a discount on your black green. So take advantage of it. It's all at VasilisGarden.com. From me, Vasili, Marisi.